But, you know, could have won one. Cam won one, and I think played Billy a couple of times. And the amateur fell down, but in my day, when we started... What happened, am- what happened to the amateur when the PSA got formed? Oh, it declined. Yeah, the kind. Who because, was left? Who, who stayed? Well, Cam won. Uh, he never turned pro. And then uh, Billy Reedman, I think. Uh, I'm not sure, but I think Kevin Shawcross, who was number three in my team here, I think he won a world amateur. Uh, Cam, Cam would probably know. But uh, it, it declined a lot. You know, the players weren't of the standard that golden era produced, you know. Because as I said, the test. So you talking about you talk about golden era for New South Wales and yeah. Bondi, aren't you? Yeah, because it, 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 it went just... up a bit in the seventies and eighties after that, didn't it? The standard. Um, the seventies and eighties. See, I was in Melbourne and I'd retired from squash. I didn't play. No, I mean like when you got to the Jahungas and the Gentches, yeah. the standard was up again, wasn't it? That's right. Yeah. Well, they were. You see, that was the they were professionals. Jahanga and Jahanga and all of they were pros. From the Pakistani. Yeah, we put up a squash board up here. There's ne- there hasn't never been one up here. Yeah. And like we look back and we say these people have been here. That's right. That's right. That's what I said. I came in one day and I said, Christ. I said, I can't believe this is the greatest squash club that ever existed. You'd never know it. And it was only recently that they put some nice photographs up in the last couple of years. I came in and there They're was the nothing. ones we could find. Yeah, there, there was nothing, though. Exactly. There was nada. And I went, and we had photographs everywhere, you know, big photographs. We'll have to get them back. We've just got to find We've them. We've got to find them. We've got to get them. Well, his guy might have some. We're researching anyway. Yeah. It's a great idea to write a book because, I mean, Australia was the... The place Cisco said in a thing they're undefeated and we played you know we played I played against the South Africans uh, uh, New Zealanders nobody could beat us you know it was a team nobody they had good number ones um, Charlie War was a terrific number one from <coughs> New Zealand he was rated in the top eight in the world and we had the top eight players put on by Rockman who went to New Zealand and six of them were from here you know uh, six of the top eight yeah this game myself, Carter, um, Parman, That's Ken Carter. Yeah, uh, no, Cam Dick, Carter. Dickie Carter, Cam, Cam, Cam Nan Caro, myself, and the others were Bill Reed. No, no. Um, That's Dick Carter. Know. Then, yeah. But Dicky was never. He played here a lot. Dicky was. We considered him as one of our one of our players. But he was Sydney Uni. But he was at the Sydney Uni. Yeah, Sydney guy. And, uh, but that was that was how good we were in the Australian side and here. You know, we could have fielded a team here that played for Australia any time over those six years. Yeah. Not many Clos Cups can no. boast that. No. no. We'll have to get it. We'll get the book up. We'll get yeah. some pictures on the wall. It will happen. This man's driving. <laughs> that, that's the biggest thing that I can say about it. How, name me a club anywhere in the world where you could have picked the Australian side from, and they did. And would have been undefeated, and it was. I mean, the other players that played here when they went to South Africa, they asked me to go over to South Africa to be 66, but I couldn't tour. I had too much show business to do, wife and three kids, and I, I'd stuff like that. But they said the only team that ever got beaten in that time was the one they sent to South Africa. Hisco didn't go, I didn't go, Hunt didn't go, Carter didn't go. So there was four of the gun out, and Cam led the team as number one. And I think a guy called Ted Curtis from Queensland, well, they wouldn't have carried our bags, truthfully. Oh, Cam would have, but Ted Curtis and the other players, Ratnax and that, they wouldn't have carried our bags. And that's just the typical truth of it. Have you got an email that I can Yep, yep, I'll give you that. 